What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. I want to talk about this whole situation with Carmen and Corey and Carmen actually putting out her truth because I'm happy she did that. I'm so happy she did that. He should be happy she did that so he can stop hiding the person he is. Now, for those that don't know, Carmen uh, has management Neb and Neb copyrights video. So I'm putting this video on to my Patreon um, simply because, you know, I, I got a family to feed. So let's get into this tea. If y'all get the point. So that's what we're going to do. If you would like to tap into the Patreon, feel free. If you do not want to tap into the Patreon, don't. Okay. You have options. All right. Now, we did watch it on Twitch. Shout out to the people on Twitch. I had about, well, currently I have 702 people on Twitch, which is very, very new for me because I've never had that many people on here. So shout out to y'all. Um, but with that being said, I just want to say several things that she brought to our attention. For one, I want to talk about him crying about him wanting to see his children. Now, it's one thing to have them, take care of them, hold everything down, you know, do what it is you're supposed to do as a man. No, I'm not a man. I'm not trying to be one either. I may dress like one, but I love my vagina. Don't get it fucked up. But however, it's just more so like, sir, if you really wanted to be there for them, you would. You know, you got the power, you got the money, you got all that. Why you ain't there for them? It's bullshit. It's been bullshit from day one and I knew it. But I just didn't, I couldn't put all the pieces together. You know what I'm saying? And she put all the pieces together for me. So for one, if you wanted to really like hold your family down or whatever, you would have held yourself accountable for what you already did. You've been cheating, gang. You've been cheating. We all know that. And clearly it's way more than what we even know. So you out here giving community dick but want to be a married man in the house. That's not how that work. <laughs> then also you want to be out here giving community dick, but don't want to hoe in the house. Okay. So that's just kind of crazy to me that men want to go out here and just get that dick around. But when she text somebody, not even get that cat up, it's a problem. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Um, she said that she texted a man and, and, um, you know, you lost it. Here's my thing. Whether she text them, suck them, fuck them, don't matter to me. Sir, you already did that. Times 10 times that, I'm sure. Community dick, you don't care who hop on yours. You don't give a fuck about yourself anyway. So why should she? I'm just saying. Um, that's number one. But number two, what makes you think that you, you can treat a person like that and they don't bring it right back to your ass. You know what I'm saying? I just think that that's crazy from niggas. I don't understand it. Y'all going to do what it is that y'all do. But women always wake up when a woman's fed up. Boy, that you on your ass, boy. You ain't tweeted nothing today. You ain't on your stories today. You didn't go live today. Boy, she on your ass, boy. You me? When a woman is fed up, you on your... Boy! <laughs> you on your ass, nigga. You done got to the point. You stressed out so bad, your brain bleeding. For those that understand that I have been there, done that, I got exposed for being a piece of shit. I'm fully aware that I was a piece of shit. I don't take back that I was a piece of shit. I understand that I was. Got it. Your brain... And I'm not saying you're going through that for this reason, but what I am going to say is you so stressed out because you're not really being who you're supposed to be. You're not being honest about who you are. Who you are is who you were to her in the beginning. I'm sure you were a great guy. Maybe cheat, maybe not, but definitely not this person you are today. I don't understand how a nigga is six feet tall but got to choke out a woman that's 4'9". I don't understand it. I don't understand. You could have just left anyway. But you so nasty, you got to go have sex with women and bring them to the crib. Bring them to the crib, though? You rich. 
You can't go get a room. You can't go post up at the Ritz. Post up at a La Hyatt or something. You got to bring the women to your, your home where the children are, the ones that you care about so much. That's crazy. That's crazy. I've ne- like, out of all these things that have gone on on the internet and that I've reacted to, don't get me wrong, some of them be having me like, God ah, damn, boy, that's crazy. But this one, ooh, it's a different type of energy. Because this is just type, this trifling. <laughs> this is just a different type of trifling. But I wouldn't even gave a damn, to be honest with y'all, if he wasn't coming out playing victim the way he's been playing victim. She cheated. I'll never forget. He was like, she cheated on me. And, and, and she wrong. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. She cheated on you. She she took me back. The pad wasn't in the pad. Sir, you know how many times you cheated on this woman? Probably she don't, she probably don't even know how many times you cheated on her. Just out here giving out the dick, nasty ass nigga. So bad you gotta bring them to your house. You gotta put her out the house to get some community pussy. That's crazy. You put your kids. And her out the house to get some community pussy. That's crazy. I'm going to just say this, y'all. This whole entire situation is sickening. You lucky she ain't have a nine millimeter to put to you. Why? Because, see, a lot of y'all, you know, Neek, nope, 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 nope. We ain't going to say that. We ain't going to say that. I'm going to just say this. Y'all know who y'all can do this to. Y'all know who y'all can do this to. You know who you could do this to. You know who you could do this to. Okay? Start doing it to the ones you can't. The one you with, you can't. And when she find out that you really are who you are, because she was, I ain't going to lie, shorty who he messing with now is type aggravated with Carmen. She like, yo, if a nigga was doing me like that, I'd get him up out of here. That's what she, that's what she kept saying the other day on the live. But I think she just ain't really peeped the truth for real. She know Corey's truth, but she don't know the full truth of the situation. That current girl going to give him a different type of hell, and I can't wait to she do it. Hopefully, he decide to take accountability for <clears throat> the piece of shit he's become, and he becomes a better person and, you know, things like that. I, I, I really pray that he does that. You know what I'm saying? But she peeped. She definitely know now. And, boy, she ain't the one that you're going to be able to play with. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, she is not the one. Okay? But out of that whole video, I just want y'all to know that you deserve better than that. That's it. You deserve way, 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 way better than that. Stop putting that, putting yourself through it. It's not worth it. Um, and yeah, if you want to watch the full video, I, I could not react to the video here. Neb. Um, copyright go to Patreon I got it in the pinned comment if y'all want to tap in if you don't you don't have to let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below I wanted to keep this short and sweet love y'all appreciate y'all hey yeah.